you'll have to pardon my froggy voice, I have a bit of a cold. Um, for this video I'm going to show you the basics of inverse kinematics by rigging this guy's legs. Um, the first thing I like to do when I'm rigging a character is to work from the center out. And so I'm going to create a null, and that null is going to be my hips. So I'm just going to position those hips up where I think the hips should be on this little guy. Um, I'm going to apply the bone deformer to that null. Normally you apply it to objects, but um, I just want it to be nice and clean when we bend the bones. And so I'm going to apply it to the null. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a bone and then rotate it 90 degrees down on its pitch so that it's pointing straight down and then just make it a nice little length so that we can grab it when needed. Now I'm going to create another null. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent this bone to the hips and I'm going to move this skeleton deformer, bone deformer, up out of the way so I don't have to look at it anymore. The Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the hip, leg, hip, thigh, calf, ankle, inverse kinematic chain right here. The anchor for my chain is going to be another null. So I'm just going to add a null and then parent that null to this uh, butt wiggle bone. And then move it out into a position where I think the hips should be centered. And then rotate it so that it's looking down at the ankle. Now I'm just going to create another bone and parent that bone to this hip null and move its length out so that it touches the ankle and I'll do all the rotation here on the null because we can't do any rotation on the Icanid chain itself except along pitch so there we are, it's touching the ankle so now I'm going to want to split this bone in half so I can use this nifty real-time split and just pop it right there on the knee and make sure to turn that off. From the side view, I'll just rotate it along, making sure that I'm using local so that I don't adjust any of its heading or bank. And just position it so that it naturally fits within the mesh. So now I'm going to create uh, the last null in my chain, and this is the, um, the null that will be used to uh, to as the IK goal null. Um, what I want to do is make sure that it's positioned right at the tip of this bone. So the easy way to do that is to figure out its length and then move it along its Z at that exact length by copying and pasting those values in. So now what we'll need is an actual goal for this goal to look at. And so we'll just create a null and unparent it from everything. So now it'll just be parented to the world. And we're just going to want to make sure that it is in the rough position of the end of this calf bone, where the ankle is. There we go. So now um, we're going to want to have this bone affect the feet, have this um, IK goal affect the feet. And so what we'll do is we'll create another bone and parent this bone to this IK goal. We'll call it IK goal. And this bone, we're just going to want to make it big enough and position it roughly uh, to hold the feet in place. Nothing fancy. And in fact, we can hide it. We don't need to see that. So, we're all set up and ready. Um, here's where the magic happens. We want to make sure that this hip bone, this hip null, is our, in back in Animate, it is our anchor. So that's our anchor for our IK chain. And now here on the null that we made, that we want it to be our, our IK goal effector thing, um, we're going to click on Calculate IK, and we're going to make sure that the goal for the calculate OK is OK goal. And that's it. 
we have created an inverse kinematic for our little dude. And oh, we notice that it is flipped the wrong way. And the easiest thing to do there to flip it back the right way is to pick this calf area and just make sure its direction is on negative there. So there we have our, our inverse kinematic bone. Now you'll note that it is not actually moving the geometry at all, and that's because we initially did not apply the effect to the mesh itself. And we can do that now very quickly by adding the effect. And now you can see that it is working. And you've, you can see also that these bones are grabbing these this geometry where we don't want that to happen so the quick way to fix that is to just mirror everything and now we have it on both sides um, we don't have anything grabbing these feet here though so we'll just copy that and then parent it to that foot and then in setup and animate you can now see that uh, we can rotate this foot and we can move it independently of the other one. So, and then the nice thing is, is that I can wiggle the hips, and I have access to my IK goals, and it's a very quick process. Um, to rotate the knee, you just rotate the bank of the thigh there. Obviously, you're going to want to put bones all up in here so it doesn't look silly as you're working. And you're going to want to hide the bones that you don't need to see anymore and even lock them. So, but I think, I think that, that gives you an idea of, uh, of the, the power of the inverse kinematics in Messiah.